some of you might know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Yes, alien! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. 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 Recently, the US government held a congressional hearing of what? UFOs <laughs> or extraterrestrials. What? Do you believe our government is in possession of UAPs? They said so! Yeah. Joe Byron <laughs> said yes! <laughs> but you're gonna believe everything Joe Byron says? Yes! <laughs> No, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Yes, alien! Uh, yes! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 We saw this one coming a mile yeah. away. Okay, let me, yes. let me say my piece. Let me say my piece. Yeah. Some of you might have heard peace. the resounding news, and I feel yeah. like very pleased to have heard this. But recently, the U.S. government held a congressional hearing at Capitol Hill with three witnesses of Watched UAPs all. or UFOs <laughs> or extraterrestrials. Why she so high? She's so high. <laughs> this is so cool, man. I so love aliens. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but before before I dive into this congressional hearing and alien theory. I have three questions and I'll ask oh, one, yes. one, one by one. So the first question I have, do you think there's life outside Earth or our galaxy? They said so! Yeah. Joe Byron <laughs> said yes! <laughs> Joe yes. Byron said so! Jo but you're gonna believe everything Joe Byron says? Yes! <laughs> that guy's ancient! <laughs> I know what he's saying. <laughs> okay. That's why I believe him. He's communicating with them right now. Yeah, he the universe is, Joe is way alien. too big to for aliens not to be real, bro. It's way That's too facts. big for there's not to be zero life. What yes. if they don't like being called aliens? That's crazy. Have we been calling them the <laughs> N-word this whole time? Aren't they just immigrants? Hey. <laughs> what if we're the aliens and we just don't know it? I mean, not technically true. we are to them. I'm, I'm normal. <laughs> you, are the, you are not normal is not the first thing I would do to describe you, homeboy. <laughs> If there's anything you should know about me or have already realized by now, that at least since I got here, reading maybe isn't my strong suit, okay? What can I say? I'm just built different. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, surprise, surprise, your girl likes to listen to words and stories versus reading them? I just require stimulation in my brain, okay? Like, why would I do my boring NPC chores like washing the dishes or PvPing in RuneScape in silence when I can have gentle voices spewing true crime mysteries into my ear holes? Thankfully for both you and me, Audible exists so you too can enjoy all kinds of delicious audio-focused entertainment. And I'm talking thousands of titles. They got books. They got podcasts, they got stories to help you sleep, which don't lie. I know you're in deep sleep debt, right? Right? Or, or you want funny, goofy story times with, I don't know, famous people? You know that guy, Kevin Hart? He has it, Audible has it. You want to temporarily escape the adversities of life by distracting yourself with some juicy, butt-clenching celebrity lore? Audible has it. Being a super cool Audible member gives you full access to their entire selection of audiobooks, which you can download and stream whenever you want. And also, I'm just gonna say this, if you sign up now, you can try it out yourself for 30 days. That's a whole entire month at no charge for free. That's zero dollars, everyone. So if you have time and you want to learn more, check out audible.com slash Recreo, or you can text Recreo to 500 Five hundred. That's five zero zero. Five zero zero. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to expand my brain. Bye. Okay. Well, I have a second question. Did you believe that the government or the governments over around the world were hiding in secrecy yes! the existence yeah. of extraterrestrials? <laughs> They got E.T., bro. They got my boy somewhere. How do you know? I, how, do, how can you be so sure, though? We watched a movie about it. <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe me. There's a Reddit post of a, of a guy. That's the high. That's where we saw okay. that. There's a Reddit oh, post. Oh, look. All right. All right. Christy, give us a Recreo. Oh, oh my please. God. It's, it's, yeah, I've been trying to hit me with it. There was this Redditor. I'm like, dude, I literally get their credentials, and then I'll believe. Well, that's what I was gonna say. So, so they—I mean, I'm gonna explain it wrong, but they lined up all of his facts with like dates 
and like the government buildings he was talking about were, existed and stuff. And it was like, I don't know, it was too believable. There's a thing called Google Maps, right? I want to believe. <laughs> That's Ivan. You saw you talk about Santa Claus, brother. I'm almost 30. I'm thinking if there are aliens and they're and we don't know of a planet that can host life within light years. So if, if they have the tech to come here, how did we capture them, bro? That okay, think about this. This is like me getting captured by horses. <laughs> They yeah. explain it where like the, the beings that we see or the aliens that we've seen are drones. They're artificial. Like, you know how we send out like the rovers? Like this is their mirror? This is their rover. Yeah. But why is there a but person they're biological. in there? It's not a, yes. it's so, a biological, it's like, drone. Biological rover yeah. is what nuts. What if they're clones already? Or clone, I don't know, something. Okay, but uh, that's like a horse capturing my uh, drone. That's like if a horse <laughs> could build a plastic <laughs> horse and then that plastic horse captured you. I don't know, that seems pretty advanced. So they look like horses. <laughs> they were getting off, off the, the beaten path Wait, here. Uh, How many aliens do you think you could take? <laughs> and are you in a fight, right? <laughs> Yeah, in, in a, a fight, fight, right? In a fight. Right? Alien how many biological how many biological drones do I'll you think you them. could take? I bend over. Yeah, I probably <laughs> won't even know something's going on. I think by the time you realize you're encountering an alien, it's already over. Is Jover? Yeah, what, what if what if they're like so advanced, right? They're so advanced. The only tech they have is for, I don't know how stupid they might be to do this, but the only tech they have is for travel and they have zero sense of weapons and defense. So they put all their skill and points so, in, in just that? movement? Yeah, yeah, they min-max to just travel. <laughs> they said speed 100, bro. Yeah, speed 100 and then attack is maybe five. And so it's like some 5'4 gray guy going, hey, no. hey what do you have against five four people? Don't make Ivan sad. Hey, Man. What the f? Melon bread oh, enjoyer. Oh Melon bread enjoyer, bro. Oh the worst God. kind of bread. The collateral damage. Why? I <laughs> felt that. Yo, that was like when Goku held Raditz and Piccolo special beam cannoned both of them. <laughs> Wait, but animator, can you now please draw Ivan progressively turning into an alien? <laughs> Okay, so in this congressional, when asked, one of the three witnesses who was a former Navy pilot, yeah. when he was asked, do you believe our government is in possession of UAPs? He said, absolutely, based on over 40 witnesses over only four years. And then- Only 40? Are you gonna, if you see a, a UFO, are you gonna call the police then? <laughs> I don't know who I'll call. I'll probably call my dad. <laughs> what, is he, what is he gonna do? <laughs> He's gonna be like, Dan, stop sipping that Red Bull and go to bed. <laughs> You'll probably say the same exact thing, actually. <laughs> but sleep. also, according to this extensive list of reported UFO sightings, the first documented alien sighting was as early as 1450 BC. Oh, oh the pyramids. And it so was in ancient Egypt where the they pyramids. said a star came down yeah, and yeah, set yeah, fire yeah. to the earth. Yes. And then in 218 BC in the Roman Republic, Whoa. they said phantom ships had been seen gleaming in the sky. Those are the stars, <laughs> idiots. No. <laughs> what they saw a meteorite? They're called stars, Christy. <laughs> no, they're not. Aliens are real. No, because in hieroglyphics too. Remember when the Native Americans were like the aliens arrived in white horses with glowing that armor, right and it was me. just a bunch of white people. What white if people it's with like shiny, shiny metal? What if it's just fanfic though? <laughs> fanfic. No. The ancient Egyptians are writing on Wattpad. <laughs> I saw a mummy today off topic. What? Like, a, like was it, did you, did it talk to you? Yo, people used to eat mummies to, to gain their powers. Is that Yo, real? Why do yeah. we stop? Like grave like, robbers. In what? England, they would eat what? mummies. Royalty what? would eat Powers did he have? Nah, dude, they, well, they no. still do that. I eat your mummy every day. You, you, you sit down. <laughs> you, you stop that. Hey, 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 don't talk hey, about my mom. What happened there? What you happened there? Down. I get a lot of Take power from that Take us back to the one. pyramids, Christine. I'm getting uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, a lot of people, when you talk about aliens and conspiracy theories, a lot of people believe that cat aliens roamed the earth yes. during the ancient cat Egyptian aliens? era, I which is why in hieroglyphics, all of the like gods have like cat heads and they're like outside I of the pyramid. Nah, I think they're just, I think they're just bored. Cats are superior. Yeah. But then also at the same time, how did people build the pyramids? There's no way that That's regular humans had the technology <laughs> to build know, pyramids you know, at that time. You know what they were saying? They got all that stone from like across the continent 
and they like how that shit's crazy. On my um, back. They brought they yeah. brought it over <laughs> with <laughs> alien help. <laughs> that, with, with a helicopter. They <laughs> brought it over, they, bro. They just called it. Okay, new. so it is, I've bro. I've watched a lot on this. So you can lay out essentially train tracks. It's, it works the same as train tracks of just wood of just logs, and you can roll stones on there. And if you set that up for miles, essentially you can just roll a stone for as long oh, as man, you want, aliens. like a train. There's no way. There's recorded evidence of uh, like people who actually did work on the pyramids, like really boring apparently. Like Wait, Egyptian found? <laughs> no, it's like, no, it's like, no, it's like, no, it's like, a, it's like scribed <laughs> records of like one of the manager, like literal manager builders. Whoa. They found like, the slot group chat. Of the <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think aliens are gonna be hot? They're not gonna be hot. I don't know. How do you know, do you though? Know? What are, where are the other Reddit? ones? You gonna say Reddit? <laughs> I have a separate theory besides the Reddit thing, so. You saying all hot girls are dumb? Oh. I'm not saying, I'm saying they're just not efficient, right? Like, so. Whoa, what? what? So, Wait, 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 bro, Paul, can I we can't wait to the on. alien see this episode. I'm telling your fiance. There's a render of like the the perfect human who could survive a car crash. And that, that yeah, thing but is that's different. Oh, that's though. But I'm saying, Why are you calling it a thing? It's still like human. No, that's different. That's but different. But I'm saying in the context of surviving space travel and surviving like all this other stuff, they would probably look horrendous. Isn't being beautiful a survival trait though? What if they're just biologically built to withstand? I don't remember the study, but I think people over time have become more and more beautiful. Quote, yeah, because, okay, think because about this, right? Are the ugly people giving birth? <laughs> <laughs> Probably <laughs> ugly. You were, about to say, you were saying what I was about to say, but way more offensive. But wouldn't they be like a whole different species? So like, why would you be? Nah, we'll make it work. If they're not hot, then they have riz. They can pick yeah, up Yeah, then they gotta riz. have what riz. What if humans and aliens can't even like produce together? You think like, I care? How do you know that? You ever watch Avatar? <laughs> You're just married, bro. Then, then trying to make sure it, it can't work. So when they do come, <laughs> I'm it's asking okay. Because it's a whole different species. They're not even from the same planet. So what if this is like Guardians of the Galaxy 2 with that we, guy's We dad. literally can't like. Nah, 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 nah. I don't. You think I care? Kurt, that's a problem. If, if you were to meet an alien and they asked if you wanted to come to their planet, would you say yes? I'm For coming. Sure. Really? Oh. <laughs> and they said you can never I'm come back coming. to Earth. After it depends that. on what emphasis oh, they, what word they put emphasis on. They said, uh, do you want to come back to our planet alive, but you can never I'm come back coming. to Earth? No. Everyone, no. Really? No. no. Oh, I can't Christine, come back. Why did you say that like you're okay. so down? What? I would so what go. What if you die? If you can guarantee that I'm alive. Nah, I hate traveling, man. You gonna go there, learn that the air is exclusively nitrogen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If they can guarantee my life, I would go. Christine pulls up and goes, whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> Imagine all their food is just all peanuts. No, <laughs> no, no. Christine, you get there and you realize that they're a race of aliens that exclusively eat rocks. And then you're like, well, <laughs> f what do I do now? Why would I want to be on Earth? It's so Jeez. ugly. This is the only up place there is <laughs> like, like to live. That we know of. That we know yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, but that's the problem. He's like, Christine is an alien, bro. Anyway, do you think that this all, like this congressional hearing happening and every story about aliens comes out to the public to distract the common people from something no. that uh, something else that's happening. No. Oh, what's happening right now? Oh. There's a lot going oh, down crap, in the world. What's happening right now? <laughs> what if they're opening it up to like put fear in people's mind? I feel like a lot of people think pe people can't wild out about two things at the same time. I mean, for a moment during the pandemic, people forgot about the disease and were thinking about the aliens. So but it kind of works. No, I'm not going to lie, dude. It does yeah. work because it gives the media yeah. an excuse to not talk mm -hmm. about a real problem. It Here, like deters Turns the attention away. Even after articles went out, did your life life change moderately? Yes. It took some. It took some. <laughs> your routine was the same. Change distracts you from bigger stories, though. It buries the older stories. Yeah, the whole point is to keep your routine the same, so that you're not bugging out over an actual problem. I, I get where y'all coming from. I understand where y'all coming from, but I also think a lot of people can hold two things. I think you're giving people too much credit. <laughs> a big emphasis on this like congressional hearing, hearing about aliens was that like they were just reiterating the fact that these extraterrestrials had such superior technology to ours that even if we had claimed the technology and reverse engineered it and rebuilt right, it so that right, it worked, right. by the time it happens, it's already too late. <laughs> that is crazy. That's nuts. Yeah, because one of the one of the stories that the former like Intel agency guy was talking about was like this. Reddit. No. 
<laughs> from his personal experience. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a brother, please. <laughs> he was saying that TLDR, they were in the air and then they were getting like pickups of a foreign like radar and they saw four aircrafts in a diamond formation and it was moving from space yeah. 80,000 feet upwards all the way mm -hmm. down to 20,000 feet within yeah. like Whoa. milliseconds. And it's like, there's nothing, yeah. there's no technology that is like known to yeah. mankind right now that they can go mm -hmm. from that distance. Bro, Dragon Ball predicted it. The Saiyans are coming. They thought it was a, they yeah. thought it was a glitch. But then they went and saw that like multiple times throughout the week. Yeah. Like they saw it every and, every day around the same and time. Apparently they like went out of their way to like go follow it, but it was just so fast and it they lost it immediately. And then within like another like half a millisecond, it appeared at the tail of their aircraft. That's so nuts. Mm. That is the Saiyans. Yeah, that's, crazy. that's crazy. So we're like we're actually <laughs> if the aliens wanted to, they could just destroy us. Okay. I, think. I, I have a theory question. This is like yeah. a really really random. What if it's us from the future? No, <laughs> That'd be no, so no. sick. Wait, I was gonna oh. get to that point. You Let think, me tell you. You think they're time machines? Did you all hear the story about in like, I forget when it was, 20, 2005. They ran into this man who was like lost and bewildered in the street and he had only a camera with him, but he was dressed from clothes in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. And then they showed his film camera from like a photo that he said he took that day and it was of him and his girlfriend from 1950. And so when they went to go find the girlfriend, they found her and like at her current like age and I was like oh yeah that was my boyfriend from like the 1950s uh that's a ghost that's Captain America <laughs> wait no so they went to the girlfriend's house and she went he's been dead for 50 <laughs> years no, they just said that he disappeared one day and then came back two days later time travel from the 50s though I don't know yeah. he should have said he's from like 2025 yeah but like if we were so advanced the UFOs are so advanced and like took him I, okay how about this though what if the aliens right they're they're so advanced when we got this little drone thing. What if this drone is one of millions that are across the universe that are just looking at planets and we just so happen to get a faulty one? And there are millions of other like life it's, forms it's like us. It's funny that like that's the drone that they have and then our drones are like light shows. <laughs> Firework <laughs> shows. Yeah. Firework shows. We're entertainment focused. <laughs> it's like us interacting with an ant colony, you know? What if the aliens that are attacking us now are humans from the future that are trying to prevent a catastrophe that happens that that would be crazy. By causing a catastrophe? Like, no, they're trying to find, they're trying to stop the root of a problem that happens in the future. That one dude's story about the Tic Tac in the air. Oh, I was yeah. Like, I could see that being a time machine. Chinese yeah. weather balloon. Chinese weather balloon. It could be us from the future. Like testing a time machine, bro. If the government has been in contact for, with aliens for the last multitude of decades, what if what if we're trying to like ask for help? I feel like we would be the cause of our own demise. If it was regardless. all like sunshines and rainbows, they would have told the people about it way sooner. So the reason they don't tell us, right, is because if we know about the existence of aliens, we know about the existence of other worlds we and stuff, and we're and it's like we kind of have a more pronounced thought of life so that we're less, it's harder to control yeah. the people. Yo. And also because if we th if we know that there's a superior being than the people that control us, then we won't listen to I them anymore. I can see anymore. that. Yeah. I can see Yo, that. Yo, that's It's dope. like if there's like a higher being than us, if there's aliens, all that, why are we paying taxes? That's what I'm yeah. saying. No, literally, that, that, that's, yeah, literally, that's, that's essentially. Yeah, how am I paying taxes, bro? Oh my gosh, wait, I didn't even tell you guys. I almost got scouted for like a religious cult like two days ago. By an alien? <laughs> oh, whoa. Did you join? I thought you were about to tell wait, us how you, you got join? probed. No, no, no. <laughs> It was two guys and a, and a woman, and they came up to me, and they were speaking Japanese, and they were- Hey, we just like your vibe. They were basically oh, no. like- And they say that in English straight up. But she was basically like, the, the presence of God is all around us. God exists in the trees, in the oh, earth, soil, she started in the praying? sky. Flip to the next page, and there was a photo of aliens, a photo of atoms, and a photo of like other, like, I don't even know, just like science. Oh, dude. And yes. Wait, Scientology. Repeat. Wait, Christine is trying to to recruit us right no, now. No. Tom, Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise scouted you. But then at the end of it, I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, typical Christine. She got the mental barrier. The aliens can't probe that mind. Yeah, bro. That mind's unprobable. Unrecruitable. <laughs> Unrecruitable. The brain way too smooth, bro. Not a wrinkle in that joint. <laughs> <laughs> I was so bad because I was so like nonchalant about it. Christine, what if the old man was an alien and you just missed oh, out? Well, dude, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway.
We need an alien recreo out. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. Aliens are real to me, okay? And I strongly believe... I don't know if I said this in this episode. I strongly believe cat aliens visited the Earth. And that's why sphinxes and cats are highly, highly regarded in historical context and hieroglyphics and stuff. But who knows? Only time will tell, okay? What if we're the aliens at the end of the day? Think about that. Anyway, shout out to our Patreons for this month. Raina Mew, Calvin Duong, Thomas Murray, Barnesinator, and Drew Uranus. Y'all are awesome. And all I'm saying is aliens definitely exist. And it is what it is. All right.